Hey, slime friends. It's Miss Dawn. I hope y'all are doing well, staying healthy. I hope that you are doing a great job in school and that you're being obedient to your teachers. Um, my boys are actually downstairs finishing their school for the day, so I hope that I can get this video in before they come upstairs because they want to go outside because it's gorgeous out and I do too. So anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to do a slime that you can make at home that has no glue in it. And I think your moms probably have the ingredients at home. It's three simple ingredients. Shampoo, cornstarch, and some food coloring. You really don't have to have food coloring because usually shampoo is a colored anyway. So this is kind of pink and I just got some pink food coloring just because I like pink. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. You need your bowl and I also have a spatula to help mix it up. Um, so you're going to take half a cup of shampoo. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cheap shampoo, BO5 shampoo, in here. I'm measuring cup, a half cup, and I'm going to dump it in. I'm going to use my spatula to help me get all of it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my couple drops of food coloring in just to make it a pretty color. So I'm going to put two to three drops. Okay, there's two drops. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm going to mix that up. So that's kind of a pretty color. I don't know if you can see that. This kind of probably looks dark to you. But anyway, it's kind of a pink, pretty pink color. And then I'm going to add two and a half cups of cornstarch. So give me just a minute. I'm going to fill up my first cup. It's kind of messy. And hopefully by now, too, you guys have gotten your postcard that Miss Diane and Miss Tracy and I sent. If you haven't got it yet, it's coming. Just to let you know that we really, really do miss you. All right, so there's my first cup. Okay, here comes my second. Coming. That's close enough to two. What did I say? Two and a half cups. Where's my half cup? Here it is. All right, so there's our half cup. Dumping it in. Now I'm going to stir. little bit and then we're going to add some water now the amount of water the recipe says one um it says one fourth to one third so whoo, you see that smoke coming up not smoke powder fluff or whatever you call it all right so it's kind of starting to get kind of crumbly so i'm going to go ahead and add some water i've got my third cup of water here but i'm just going to add a little bit at a time because i don't want it to be too runny the first slime i made was an epic fail. It was super runny. So I'm hoping that this one works. It smells really good. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put it all in. All right, now I'm stirring. Ooh. It's still pretty crumbly. You see? I'm gonna have to put some more. It's kind of starting to take shape. Can you see that? It smells really good. Really good. I'm gonna add a little more water. I don't know how much that was. But it was way too crumbly. Okay, can you see that? It's really starting to look more like slime. I don't know if you all have ever made oobleck, but it kind of looks like that. Do you see that? That's kind of cool. And it smells really good, if I haven't already said that. So there it is. 
So instead of a third cup water, I would get a half a cup ready. And it just kind of like melts in the bowl. If you can see that, see where it's kind of like You see? Anyway, it looks really neat. Oh yeah. And it's really it's really smooth too. So anyway, there's our slime from home. I hope that you have enjoyed my video and I sure hope that we can see you soon because we really miss you, Diane. Miss Diane, Miss Tracy and I really miss you and we hope to see you soon. We love you and just always know that God loves you too.